Today, we're going to talk about the first part in learning how to read music, staffs and clefs. The staff, or the stave, is the foundation of how we write down music. It all stems from the grand staff that looks a little bit like this. Nowadays, in modern music, it's much more common to use a two-staff system that's derived from the grand staff. These two staffs are made by deleting the middle line of the grand staff. Every line or space represents a full note or a white key on the keyboard of the piano. Now, where do clefs come in? Well, these staffs or staves are defined by clefs. Now, I know you're probably like, what's this guy on about? But bear with me, okay? Hopefully, it will make sense. Clefs assign individual notes to certain lines and spaces. They work a bit like a key to a diagram or a key to a map. They give you context and show you what various things are in relation to one another. Now there are multiple clefs, but only two are really used. The bass clef and the treble clef. I'll be going through these and the notes they pertain to in the next videos. One last thing to touch on is ledger lines. Now you see that line that we deleted at the beginning of the video? If you want to play outside of the stave, the stave only contains nine notes on it because you have four spaces in it and five lines, nine notes. If you want to play something outside of those, how are they written? How do you show where they are in relativity to everything else? Well, ledger lines are basically that. They are a small line beyond the five lines of the staff where your notes are extending outside those bounds to show you where those notes are in relation to your normal stuff. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like button and click subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.